Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're going to be doing the Anomaly mission this morning. A um, little late. I usually do it on a Friday night, but I had some other things to take care of on a more personal nature. Uh, also been doing a little bit of computer maintenance. So got some weird issues that occurred, and I've got things cleaned up, I think. I had to move my Steam library, and oh yeah, all kinds of fun there. Anyway... Um, and I've been having a lot of fun. I spent a, uh, many hours yesterday since it was I had some time off um, on the the new update, the interceptor update. So you're obviously going to notice that I'm in a different ship today. Um, found this one in a special place. So I hope you enjoy the graphics involved with this new ship, the interceptor. Been dying to get my hands on one of these special guys. I've got a few of them, but this one's right now one of my favorites. So as you can see, I'm in a completely different system than I normally start in. And why not? Let's just take a look, shall we? So this is the, my new ship at the moment. Known as the Interceptor, and it's a swept wing Interceptor. And it's just got a really mean look to it. So we'll show you more pictures of this as we get onto the space station. So let's get out of this mode. And let's pull in the anomaly. Let's head in. Now I haven't added any uh, major features to the ship yet, so you don't won't see any special trails coming from the back end of it or anything like that. Right now the ship is pretty much uh, void of anything, as you can see. I have a different ship that I've been doing some adjustments to, mainly because this one has uh, four supercharged slots, but they are scattered around, as you can see. So. I will use this for just a little more exploration while I'll use one of my other ships. Like, I'll go ahead and show it to you right now, since we can do this while we're here. Uh, this is the ship that I've been doing a lot of work on. A little meaner version of the ship. So, as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of uh, upgrading in here. This one happens to have three supercharged slots very close to each other right in here. So it tends to put out a lot more damage. The problem is they don't show the damage anymore. Strangely enough. And I don't know why. That might be a glitch. It may be something else. I'm not sure. So, but we'll take that one for a spin too. Once we get our anomaly mission. So let's go check it out. See what it is this weekend. Again, I got multiplayer turned off because I've been doing a lot of exploration in Eisentim. So, oh, yeah, this is a fun one. Rescuing a stranded life form. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's initialize it, start the mission. Um, I do have a multi-tool now. As you can see, I've got the Unpeaceful Resolution S-Class. It's one of the newer ones. It's a new pistol style one. Uh, doing about 30,000 damage, which just... Uh, I have only three slots right next to each other. There's a fourth slot in here someplace. I'm trying to remember where it is. Oh, no, no. One, two, three, four. I got four slots all right next to each other, so that's been really sweet. All right, you have a certain amount of time to get your butt out of the station. So, let's get going. As you can see, this one's kind of a little different. No swept wings, but I love the four wings around that just pop out. It makes it, it gives it a very mean appearance. Plus, you've got nine engines on this bad boy. I mean, I, I prefer the spinning engines, but... This is a pretty sweet ride. <laughs> so, to give you a rough idea, I mean, that's just the regular lasers that you get with it, but when you switch over to the Infra Knife, it's just utter destruction no matter which way you look at it. And let's get a quick review of what this one looks like. Like I said, this one has a very mean appearance to it. It's almost scary looking. See what I mean? It's really, really sweet. Anyway, it's been a, it's going to be a sweet ride. It's been one of my favorites for now. I'm I'm really loving this update that they've done. So anyway, it looks like we're heading over to this planet to rescue a stranded uh, a stranded dude. I haven't added any maneuverability to this thing, so it's going to be a little sluggish and turning and stuff like that. So really, an undiscovered moon? How is that possible? Unless nobody's doing the anomaly mission. It wouldn't be surprising, right, would it? Alright. 
because everybody's after these ships and these multi-tools at this point. All right. And... I have to search for the dude. Okay. Well, let's do a quick scan of the surroundings. I see literally nothing on the radar. All right. I'll just go ahead and land. Odd looking planet. Oh, right over there. Oh, kind of get it narrowed down. It's actually going to be right over there. So, let's just take a look. It does say rescue a stranded life form. Yeah, there he is, right there. That's the guy. Okay. So I got a neutron cannon on this. Got the hijacked laser. No big deal. Train manipulator, of course. Bolt caster, which isn't really in a spot to be used. There we go. Oh man, that pulse spitter recharges real quick. Oh, yeah, I think I can like that. I'll be adjusting the bolt casters. You know, I'm really fond of trying to test out all the weapons, so we'll get to that in another episode. All right, let's see what you need, buddy. Sharp intake of breath from the traveler. They begin to reach towards me, then pause, as though thinking better of it. So they're a traveler, so they would just reach right through me if they did that, because they're in a different um, multiverse, if you will. Looking defeated, traveler... Izenia reveals their ship's burnt-out user authenticator. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So, um, what it means is, is you have to salvage a working component, which means looking for the component. So you use your visor, and you have to look around. Search buried technology mod modules for a working navigator computer. Activate target sweep and locate it. So as soon as we hit this, there we go. And it should narrow it down. So you're looking for buried technology. That's all you're doing. The first one's right here. Sometimes you have to go through many different ones. Other times not. Now, there is another way around this. I could either dig towards it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. There it is. And I'm going to switch back over because we usually get attacked. Okay. So you've found an encrypted user authenticator. I don't hear anything. Okay. So next thing we need to do is go in our inventory, find it, and go ahead and select it. And it'll look for some place I need to bring it. Terminal not located. So it's a component signature was corrupted. So this one will not work for us. So, search buried technology module. So as you can see, you could have found it on the first shot. And sometimes you are you are attacked by corrupted sentinels. So there's one there, and there's one there. So we're going to go after both of these. So it's a little bit of slogging along the planet in order to find what you need. There is a second way you can get these. As you may or may not know, you can dig for them, or you can switch to first-person view and just pick them up. Okay, second one is right here. So I'm going to switch to first-person view. If you go to your menu, you can do that in your settings, utilities, and it's right here. I have it set to a hotkey. So I will toggle back and forth using my hotkey. And as you get close, one thing, one thing you can do is select it. That way you see it highlighted. And as you get close, see? Selectable. See? Hmm, not getting attacked again. That's good. It's going to do another search. Let's see how many of these we have to go through. Ah, decryption terminal. So we found it. And let's get at a sec first person view. So it looks like it is that way, about seven and a half minutes away. We could Tom and Jerry it, or we can take our lovely new ship. It's somehow parked inside of a rock. Why not? And the name keeps changing. It now says Reborn. I don't get it. And we will upgrade this bad boy sooner or later. So, 
excellent maneuverability in these things, though, when you're on planets especially. Hence the reason why they call it an interceptor. So we expect to be attacked here. So heads up. Make sure your weapon was selected. See? The bottom. Corrupted Sentinels may try to reclaim the salvaged part. Okay. So as we get close, there you go. See? There they are. <laughs> I wonder. Now, let me tell you. Locked. Yeah, so you have to take out the Sentinels. You don't have a choice. Alright, ready? Here we go. Let's see how fast we can take them out. One. Two. Three and... Four. Is that all of them? That is literally all of them. Ah, now it gets you, gives you the Atlanta Diem as well. That's funny. Okay, let's go in. See, there you go. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. So we're going to go ahead and present it. User authenticator detected. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. And you now have the new user authenticator that you can bring back to your fellow. Uh, gather up resources if you wish. It's up to you. I've got plenty of navigation data, so I'm not going to get any more right now. Back to your ship and back to your buddy that was stranded. Um, just watch for the icon to appear. There it is. And head over to him. This time we'll land nice and close to him. I always try to land on the left side. Because when you get out of your ship, you're on the right. There you go. I hear a sharp intake of breath from the traveler. They begin to reach towards me and pause as though thinking better of it again. We give the part to him. He's done, and you'll see him disappear, and you'll see his ship usually disappear as well. Weird how the life form just kind of stands there. Oh, this looks like a graphical glitch to me. Does it to you? There's like some background to it. Oh, that's kind of crazy looking. It may just be me. Can't select him. Can walk right through him. That's kind of creepy looking. So, how about a picture with him? Oh, that's crazy and creepy looking, huh? Let's get a picture, and we'll call it our anomaly mission picture. There we go. Okay, so that's good. You're going to see that as a thumbnail. I love it. Okay, so that's it. Let's go ahead and get into space and get our reward, and that'll be the end of our mission. So I hope you sort of liked this little bit of a preview. I noticed there's been a lot of videos lately from many, many different people in regards to all the interceptors and the weapons and stuff like that. Enjoy. I mean, uh, it may seem difficult at first to get, but there's a lot of things out there that will show you how to do it. Um, I've got a couple videos on my own channel that show you how to get an interceptor uh, and to get a multi-tool and how you can also, if you need to, you can either do it the old-fashioned way and keep taking out sent the corrupt sentinels and keep going through wave after wave after wave of getting everything you need. Or you can just glitch a whole bunch of them and keep searching. That way you can wipe out a planet, you know, and clean up, uh, check out the entire planet, get everything you need. I'm about to move to a new system and look for more ships myself. Really enjoying this. Really, really enjoying this. Anyway, let's complete our anomaly mission. See? Complete. And there you go. So we got our 1800 Quicksilver, we got some launch fuel, which, you know, it's, it's okay. And I think that should be it. So I've increased by 1800 on there. Let's just check the Quicksilver dealer and see where we are with our tiers right now. Okay, so the Euclid sign has been already opened. I've already gotten it myself. Of course, the ship and plot sign is next. Uh, pardon me, ship, ship and plot. Ship and pilot sign, pardon me. <laughs> and then the black hole in the wall sign, which I'm looking forward to as well. We're just about the end of tier two. It's at 83% right now. So look forward to those. Keep doing those anomaly missions, and we will unlock everything that's needed. Um, I believe that's it, folks. So we're going to end this one. It's a 15-minute video to get you done with your anomaly mission. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we will see you 
again in the next video. So if you have any questions, by all means, put it in the comments section. Just some comments regarding the audio and video on this. By all means, please do so. Uh, I've had some people say that my voice has not been coming through as well. Uh, it's probably because I do have a deeper voice, but I have adjusted the equalizer a little bit on this, so I can uh, hopefully come through a little bit better. So look forward to doing a lot more videos. I've got some permadeath runs I'm going to be doing and other things coming up very soon. So uh, keep an eye on the channel. Watch for those new updates, and please like and subscribe. It always helps. Thanks, folks. Take care. We'll see you on the other side.